Diorio's Frozen Dough Products presents East Utica Now and Then. I'm here today at the corner of uh, Charlotte and uh, Elizabeth Street in front of a parking lot. Not a typical place for Mohawk Valley living to uh, have a shoot, but this particular spot has a historic past. It started probably back in 1838 uh, when the state of New York mandated that public libraries be under the domain of the public school system. There were a number of locations for the library. Uh, Mechanics Hall was down on and is still down on uh, the corner of Whitesboro Street and Hotel Street. It's an early 1800s building, probably one of the oldest still functioning buildings in the city of Utica. After Mechanics Hall, it was in the Knickerbocker building and in a number of other places on Broad and Catherine Street. The superintendent of schools and the library moved to the city hall. In about 1876, it was decided that a library building was needed because the city hall was too congested, it was inconvenient. And right here on the corner of Charlotte and Elizabeth Streets, they built a magnificent building. It was considered to be one of the finest library buildings in the entire country, one that would last a hundred years. To its east was the Boys Trade School, previously the Advanced School, and even before that uh, the Female Academy, and to its west was uh, the Comfort Station, and this was a public toilet uh, with the ladies on the left-hand side and the men on the right-hand side. It was a subterranean building, very small, but it was here for years and years and years. This building, destined to last a hundred years, got so congested with so many people who wanted the library uh, because at the time there was no television, there was very little radio, uh, there was really not much entertainment. So a library was a very significant thing in a community. In fact, uh, the patrons of the library demanded that the library be open on Sunday. In 1893, the library no longer needed to be under the public school system. It was no longer a mandate of the state. And a guy named Melvin Dewey, who was creator of the Dewey Decimal System, went upstairs uh, with a group of people from the city as well as the Board of Commissioners and decided that what the community really needed was a brand new library, exclusive as a library. And that's where we'll go next week and talk about the library that was built and opened in 1904 on Genesee Street. Did you